Hey everybody, Jeff here, and welcome to another episode of the Valorant Map Lore series. This is a series where I dig through all of the maps for hints and clues to the lore of Valorant and Easter eggs added by the developers. I guarantee you'll learn something today because some of the things I'm going to show you, I had to dig pretty far to find them. So everyone, let's get into the surprising amount of lore and Easter eggs hidden in the map breeze. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Squad OV. Guys, Squad OV is a super cool platform that allows you to share your gameplay with your friends in a really interesting way. It automatically records your gameplay and uploads it so your friends can see it, but also organizes it with highlights. It will show you and your friends whenever you do something important like kills, deaths, and more. But most people use this as a way to critique gameplay together to point out what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and how to improve. Squad OV works with Valorant, League of Legends, Teamfight Tactics, WoW, CSGO, and Hearthstone. Remember, when it's open, it automatically records and uploads it so you don't even have to push any buttons and your friends can clip their favorite or important moments they want to point out to you. I'll be using this to make a squad with you guys so you can view all my games I play at Valorant and you can share your games too and we can all work together to critique each other and get better. The link to my squad will be in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you Squad OV for sponsoring today's video. So let's start off with why Breeze is a map in Valorant because we all know that the Kingdom Company is affiliated with every single map in Valorant so far. Every map in one way or another is a battleground directly because the Kingdom is there along with tons of storage containers for Radiantite. Well, Breeze definitely goes way more in depth than that traditional story. Firstly, Breeze is an island off the coast of the Bahamas, actually set in the middle of the freaking Bermuda Triangle. It's an island that actually has a pretty significant amount of Radiantite in the ground. We can see a really nice pile of raw Radiantite still embedded in the ground in a cave over here, and we also know that a mining business was set up to extract the raw Radiantite. We can see proof of this in Desmond's Chop Shop, also by a cave, where there is very clearly a map labeled Radiantite Mine Map. It looks like the map were blueprints of the mining operation, which was mostly likely a joint operation between the Kingdom Corporation and a man named Thurston Wolf. We can see Mr. Wolf's mansion in the right side of the map here and off the coast of the defender spawn up on the hill. We'll actually head up to Wolf's mansion in a little bit to explore in there later in the video. It looks like Wolf was a very rich man with not only having a mansion, but some crazy boats as well, featuring Kingdom's logo on them. We can see that they successfully set up the mining operation with a huge pump located on B site with long tubes of liquefied radionite being transported across the map, ending up at the massive container ship called the Meridian. The Meridian is a huge cargo ship made by the kingdom, mostly to transport goods and radionite. But this would be its last sail. As we can see, it clearly crash landed on the island. But this time, it was carrying far, far more important cargo. Along with Radionite, it was carrying a highly, highly advanced teleporter to quickly transport Radionite from the island to wherever it needs to go across the world. Going back to the map in Desmond's Chop Shop in a cave, we can see that there were definitely plans to get the teleporter transported here and set up for the mining operation. Later on, we find out that Chamber was actually the one that either manufactured or funded the teleporter to be made and was very likely requested and hired by Thurston Wolf, the leader of the operation on Breeze, to do so. A better hint that this is a true theory is on Chamber's personal player card. It's labeled Joint Venture and shows Chamber shaking hands with a man on a beach with palm trees all around as a huge container ship is about to make landfall. With the voice sign of, Be careful near the ship. That portal does not work as intended. Such a bad investment. And the combination of this player card, it really does look like the man Chamber is shaking hands with is Mr. Wolf. But we just heard Chamber say for himself that this portal did not work as intended. Well, that's because this portal was only ever used once that we know of. And man, <laughs> is this a super cool story I'm about to tell you. So the teleporter on the Meridian when Breeze first came out was offline. There were no signs that it was on or active. Then in the update 2.09, the sign located on the top of the wall on A site 
underneath the teleporter turned on and said quote sequence initiated and two weeks after that the freaking teleporter turned on and the sign underneath it updated to quote target locked in update 2.11, the same sign then started saying, quote, arrival imminent. Can you guess who or what was about to come through the teleporter? Well, if you were there when the update went live, you would have noticed that a knife flew out of the teleporter and embedded itself into a radionite crate nearby. But this wasn't any ordinary knife. Then in update 3.0, the sign finally changed and read, quote, portal breach with a picture of KO popping up on the sign. Also at this time, the knife was taken out of the radionite crate. It was embedded in the update prior. You can actually still see where the knife landed to this day. A really cool small detail left behind. So that pretty much confirms that yes, KO left his timeline after winning the Radiant Wars and arrived in our timeline through the teleporter chamber made on the map Breeze. That's probably why Chamber is warning people to stay away from him because the teleporter still looks active to me and he probably doesn't want anybody accidentally teleporting themselves to a literal alternate reality. Yeah, that would probably suck. <laughs> now I want to talk about one more major, major piece of lore for Breeze before we go around the map looking at all the easter eggs i can't wait to show you guys so as you can see from far far away wolf's mansion looks to be pretty badly damaged and beat up but it isn't until we get closer that we truly see the extent of the damage that happened here the mansion looks to be falling apart and unkept there is a cute little easter egg in here right added of all the animal plushes they have been putting in all the maps with even a huge version of the snake we found in the haven lore video i uploaded earlier Looks like they're having a pretty nice tea party. We'll talk more about them a little bit later in the video, but back to what happened to the mansion. Now, at first, I just thought that maybe since the Meridian crashed into the island, perhaps the mining operation was halted here and everybody left, including Mr. Wolf. But then I found this piece of art on B site over here. Now, this looks a lot like Mr. Wolf's mansion to me, and it appears that a bolt of lightning or something came from the sky and made contact and hit the mansion, which would maybe help explain why the roof is totally destroyed on the mansion. I think he was experimenting with something which led to this abnormal lightning strike. Now, guys, what if it's kind of the same lightning strike that brought Neon to our Earth? If you are a little confused with what I'm talking about, watch my Neon lore video for more details. So I'm thinking that breeze became abandoned for a number of reasons the crash of the meridian and toxic radionite crates thrown around everywhere and the event that destroyed the mansion probably was enough to just get people out of here which is a shame because there's actually so many things around the island that actually looks really cool like the giant pyramids being cooled by the water likely had some insane plans to be used by them if we check out this painting near defender spawn it looks like the pyramids were maybe going to be used as perhaps a teleporter i'm a little little confused on the meaning behind this picture so if you guys could help me out let me know in the comments what you think this means there is a restaurant in mid named the roti boti i like that name that looks like a cool little place with two arcade machines and a picture drawn by a little kid so it even looks like little kids used to live on the island as well there's also a place called ruby's record shack also in mid but closer to attack or spawn where if we look inside it's a music studio zed's logo is on there and you might recognize it with one of the best skin sets in all of Valorant. And you can even see some records on the left with pictures of artists who helped out in Valorant. Not to mention that most of the map of Breeze is part of an old castle, probably hundreds of years old. If you look up while playing a match, you can see the cannons pointing out to the sea to defend the castle if enemy ships were to invade from the ocean. Hey, do you guys remember the animal plushes in Mr. Wolf's Mansion I was talking about earlier? Well, these things are everywhere in Breeze. Probably the funniest one I found is this one right here. So looking over here, I don't know, does anything look out of the ordinary to you guys? But what if I zoom in with the op and then aim in all the way over here? Let's do a, a double zoom and look what we have, guys. We have a pink friggin' bear plushie staring out at us over uh, the map of Breeze. Now let's get a little closer and say hi to this plushie. All right, so there's the mansion, and we have to go even farther past the mansion to get to this plushy bear, this pink plushy bear who's all the way out over here, man. Look at him, past these 2D trees, and we got a floating 
floating bear. I don't know why. I just randomly saw this one day. I was checking out the mansion and I saw from the distance and then saw this little guy chilling at us. Let's go find more of the plushies randomly thrown out around the map. I found another one of the pink bears chilling by uh, Mr. Wolf's yacht right at the bottom by the dock of his uh, mansion. I also found another plush bear hiding literally inside of this pillar. Like, I don't know why they add these. It's actually hilarious because like you would literally have to turn sheets on to find them. So that one's hilarious too. Now here's one that actually scared the crap out of me. I was in here looking for things and I looked down and uh, it, this thing literally scared the crap out of me. I was literally looking in here. Like, I think I came in at this angle. I looked and then looked down and it, it actually made me jump and scared me. So we have another pink pink bear chilling in this pillar. Another one of my favorites going back to uh Rody Bodie over here is I was checking out the painting right here and then I saw look to my left and then I saw freaking Sloth about to snipe me, dude. I was like, dude, this Sloth. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was funny too. But yeah, there's another one of my Sloth guys. Speaking of Mr. Sloth, man, there's another one outside a site. Uh, he looks like he's trying to snipe something over here. Uh, yeah, we also have another bear chilling outside spawn over here. Just enjoying the view in his tire swing. And we also have Rambo Sloth Man. Just, oh, a crab. Oh, okay. We also have Rambo Sloth Man chilling from a freaking uh, tree over here about to snipe someone on the beach. Speaking of someone on the beach, I have one more plushie I want to show you. There are plenty on the map, but I like I just like this one too because he's just chilling out with a couple cold ones. Uh, he's literally downed like freaking four beers and maybe a cup of coffee. He's just chilling by the uh, by the beach, just watching out. Well, guys, let me know if you found any more pieces of lore if you go exploring in the map for yourselves. Which map do you want to see me do next in the map lore series? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out.